Negative feedback is the process whereby the production of one hormone generally will go and turn off the production of the hormone that's causing that hormone to be produced. It's all about enabling the body to get back to an ideal level. So, if we go and look at the process. So the body, for everything, it might be glucose concentration or various things, wants to get back to an ideal level. So if that level rises, that is then detected by some sort of receptors. Those receptors will go and cause a response that will occur, which will in turn cause that level to decrease and we'll get back to that ideal level. If the level of something falls, that will also be detected by receptors, which will cause some sort of response that will cause the level to rise. And again, we'll get back to that ideal level. One example of, <clears throat> of negative feedback is the production of thyroxin. Right, thyroxin is the hormone that's involved in maintaining metabolism. So, if your concentration of thyroxin drops, that will be detected by the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland will then produce the hormone TSH, which will travel down the bloodstream to the thyroid gland and cause it to produce more thyroxin. That increased concentration of thyroxin will travel back up to the pituitary gland through the blood, which will negatively cause it, so stop it, producing the hormone TSH, which originally caused the production of that thyroxin. So that's a very, very brief summary of negative feedback and the production of thyroxine.